Hello, Batches. Another episode come and gone, full of drama and still more mean girls. Hey, it's Jules from Radio Now 100.9. As you know, I love to count down my top five favorite tweets about last night's Bachelor episode. Welcome to another episode of Morning After the Rose. Tweet number five from Natalie. Jessenia becoming the bully after getting a different bully sent home. Ah, uh, yes, she was queen for about one episode when she got MJ sent home for her BS, but then we saw her turn full villain on Heather. I mean, that was not cute. Tweet number four from Kayla. Siri, play driver's license. I don't know why, but anyone over the age of 20 just relates so hard to this song, even though we didn't just get our driver's license yesterday and get our heart broken and then drive through the suburbs. Every time it comes on, I get emotional. Heather, producers did you so dirty. They didn't even give you an SUV, a limo. They couldn't even give you a driver. They made you get in that rental minivan and drive home crying. Tweet number three from Mallory Jordan. This hits different tonight. And of course, it's Taylor Swift lyrics from 15. And Abigail gave everything she had to a boy who changed his mind. And we both cried. Yes, we did. Abigail, you deserved better. And I would not be mad if you were the next Bachelorette. Tweet number two from Harry is Golden. I know this girl did not give up her job for the zucchini from Veggie Tales. Okay, I think that they met Larry the Cucumber. Here's a side-by-side -side in case you need the visual. Yeah, Matt, I'm so sorry, bro. You do look like Larry the Cucumber. And Brie, what are you doing? Do not give up your job for this man. I mean, I don't think you guys are going to be the ones for each other. Tweet number one from Kath. Kit remembering she's only 21 and has no business getting engaged to a man she went on one date with. All right, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, I think we all called it from night one. Kit was there to just get a little notoriety, gain a social media following, then dip. And that is exactly what she did. But props to Kit for knowing when to get out, unlike Jed, who stuck around the whole season then was shocked that he got picked by Hannah Brown. Also a bonus tweet about Kit because I had no idea she was only 21 until this episode, but thank you Aaron M for this gem. I knew Kit was young, but this pic of her and Taylor Lautner broke my brain. Whoa, is she like five in that picture? What year was Kit born? Well, there you have it. Don't forget to join me next week for another episode of Morning After the Rose. If you want to see your funny tweets featured, just hashtag Morning After Rose and tag me at Radio The Jewels. Don't forget to like and comment on this episode. Subscribe to us on YouTube at Radio Now 100.9 so you won't miss an episode. And as always, you can hang out with me 10 to 3 on Radio Now. Just tell Alexa to open Radio Now 100.9, download the Radio Now app, or listen live at RadioNowIndy.com. I'll see you next week.